Hey guys, Buff from Gaming Bad today, bringing another video for our Weapon Blueprint series. And today we're going to be covering the Thunderclap M4 Blueprint as well as the bundle for the Balkan Blue Lightning Unit, giving us a Milsim Operator for the Serbian Police Unit for the Anti Terrorist Unit there. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'll show you how to build this weapon. We'll show some gameplay for it as well. So, first off, you can see the bundle itself is the Balkan Blue Lightning Unit. Again, this is available for 1200 COD points here in the COD store. It was available as of yesterday. What you get with this is the Balkan Special ATU or Anti-Terrorist Unit Police Force Milsim Operator for the Allegiance Coalition as well. So that's nice to see. We also get the Thunderclap M4A1, which is a nice all-black blueprint of the weapon. We also get the vehicle skin for the helicopter, a dual threat emblem, and a thunder and lightning spray. So go ahead now and we will go ahead and back out and probably look at the... We'll start looking at the Milsim Operator itself. So again, this is a new operator that was added to the base operator for the Allegiance Coalition here, or faction, I should say. So if we go ahead and look at this, we can see Balkan Special ATU, which is based on the Serbian Police Force Special Anti-Terrorist Unit. So if I go ahead and view him here. So again, really nice operator. He's got his plate carrier there. And then on the back here, this words on his plate carrier is police, I believe is what that spells. Again, he's got the radio. It looks like tear gas or maybe stun grenades there on the his left-hand side in the back. His plate carry has got the flag located there on the left hand or the left arm of the soldier. He's got his radio. It looks like contacts with tactical helmet as well as goggles. And then we go ahead and scroll down. We see he's got knee pads. Really nice looking operator here overall. Um, nothing too standout-ish, uh, but I do like it, the operator. Again, it's good to see a Milsim operator for, added for the Allegiance side. Again, we got the radio there as well, going up the back. And he, again, he's got those, what well, looks like contacts. Kind of hard to tell with the way the helmet's covering it. So, go ahead and back out. Again, really nice operator that was added here for the Milsims for the Allegiance faction here. And again, you can see here just the ones that we have so far. So, here's the Balkan Special ATU or Anti-Terrorist Unit. So, again, that's based off of the Special Anti-Terrorist Unit for the Serbian Police. It's a police tactical unit. And, again, on the back of his plate carry there, it does say police, I believe. Now, we go to the weapons. We take a look at the Thunderclap M4A1. So, again, this is the blueprint as it comes. I'm going to add one thing to this. So, let's go ahead and strip it down to base. So, here we have the base M4A1. You can build this out of any M4 variant in the game. And then we'll look at the differences. So, first off, the muzzle brake. We're going to want... To put on a muzzle brake for this is going to be assisted with recoil stabilization, the cons being ADS speed and aiming stability. And then you can see default versus the Thunderclap blueprint variation here is going to go from the gray to the black, which is really nice to see. We're going to leave the base barrel, skip out on the laser, and then for the optic, we're going to go with that. I believe it's the PBX4 here. If we scroll down, PBX Hollow 7 is what it is. So again, this is basically just a different version of the holographic sight again from American Origin. So it's going to Position sight picture and the cons here, ADS speed, since we're adding that extra weight to the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that. And again, really quick, you can see the base versions of this are just going to be, this is really basically just a darker version, variation of the sight itself. We're going to skip the stock. And then the perk, it's going to come with fully loaded, so you're going to have max start and ammo. Now for the grip, we're going to want that rubberized grip tape. This is going to help with the recoil control, the vertical recoil. The cons being aiming stability. And again, you can see default. Versus the Thunderclap is going to be just a darker grip tape there. Ammunition, we're going to leave base. And again, here, since we already have all the attachments that come with the weapon, I'm just going to add something again. This could be personal preference. So you can add whatever you want to this. I personally like to add the Commando Foregrip to my M4. This is going to assist with the recoil stabilization and the aiming stability. The cons here being the movement speed. So we'll go ahead and again, you can see just different variations we have available for that. We'll go with the default since again, that's... Just gives us an all black version of the M4. Now, major difference is if I go ahead and look at just the base M4 with the same attachments here, you can see this is the, the same exact M4 or the base M4 with the same attachments. So just take a note of this. You can see it's kind of like, it's kind of like worn, beat up, a little bit rustic looking. Um, you can see the rail system is definitely used. It's been a, it's basically a battle torn we looking weapon as well. The salt mod stock there, as you can see, is a little beat up in the upper and the lower receiver as well. So if I back out now and we look at the thunderclap blueprint, you'll see that we have basically a very clean, nice looking M4A1. Looks almost brand new. And the major differences here is we have the black salt mod stock. We have the rail system again. You can see there's no wear on the weapon at all. We have that black rail cover on the left hand side of the weapon. We have the black pistol grip there and then we also have instead of the replacing the 
Magpul windowed P mag for the magazine. We have a black stenag mag here, which is nice to see finally on this weapon. Just a regular black stenag mag without any tape or anything like that that we saw in the task force blueprint. So this is a nice looking blueprint for just a regular stenag mag. Again, coming in black. And again, really nice overall looking blueprint. Now you can actually make something really neat out of this. If you checked out my Salem Arms Industries gray rifle build that I did the other day, let me go ahead and strip this down. Now in that video, I mentioned that this, I really wish they had a version a blueprint that added a black salt mod stock just because I how I built that you can go ahead and check out that video on the channel should be the last video I did and if I just were to rebuild that weapon here you can see the major differences here I think believe this is everything I used and again now we have in that video like I said I was wishing we had a salt mod stock because I was using uh, a different blueprint which still had a tan salt mod stock and now we have an all black version which just kind of suits the weapon very nice as well that looks pretty cool on the weapon again you can swap out like the six round mag for attack laser and you can go ahead and use something like one of the black ones here we the xrk is darker or even the fair brass so we'll go with the xrk and again there you go basically an all black m4a1 right there this is basically our sailor arms industries gray rifle or even the lvoa c build that we've done here in the past as well so again we'll strip that down and go back to our regular blueprint for the Thunderclap giving us that all black M4 and then we'll just add that commando foregrip here on the weapon and there we go the final version again this is the M4 commando or the Colt model 933 go ahead and jump into the gameplay here so again pretty true to real life this is a good bundle so in real life the again this is a special special anti-terrorist unit for the Serbian police basically the equivalent of like a SWAT unit in the United States uh, but the primary weapons that they use being an M4 Commando or, like I said, a Model 933, which we have here essentially with this M4 blueprint in the all-black. They also utilize a SIG SG-552 or the Grau in-game. And then for pistols here, they also utilize one of the pistols that they run. It's going to be a Glock 17. So I use the X-16 or the Glock 21 here in-game to try and build that again, similar to our Glock 17. We covered that in the all-Glock builds. So we'll go ahead and run that as a sidearm to stay, stay true to what this actual Serbian police force uses in real life. So again, this weapon itself, the blueprint, really nice overall. I love the, the new look to the weapon. Again, it looks like it's never been used right off the shelf. And then in all black, I think it's really nice. We have the black rail cover, the black stenag mag replacing the windowed P mag in the tan color. And we have an all black pistol grip and also the black salt mod stock there. So really nice additions to this weapon. I think this is a really good base for a blueprint for the M4. I really wish in the future they'd be able, they allow us to Frankensmith just base attachments as well because there's some blueprints that I really like that have different color variations, but for the base attachment, if I were to just swap out that tan salt mod stock for this black salt mod stock or something along those lines, I think that'd be really neat to see going forward. But other than that, I think the weapon handles really well. Now, is the bundle worth it? Again, it's 1,200 COD points in the store. I think if you're a fan of the M4 and you want an additional Allegiance Milsim Operator skin, it definitely is worth it. I think this is a really good blueprint for the M4. Again, it gives us new uh, cosmetic changes that we can really build on with different weapons, like I showed you there for the Sailor Arms and Suit Grey Rifle, or even what you would call the LVOA-C from Warsport Industries. So... I think this is a really good weapon. I love the black salt mod stock and just the overall black finish as well as how it's basically a new, brand new off-the-shelf looking weapon. So let me know down below what you guys think of this bundle. Have you purchased it yet? Are you going to purchase it? Or do you not think it's worth the COD points for this? I really hope um, we'll get more cosmetic bundles like this going forward. I think getting Milsim Operator bundles along with a true-to-life Milsim uh, weapon that they use so again for an example this this uh, Special anti-terrorist unit for the Serbian police uses this weapon in real life. So it's really nice to see I think it'd be nice to see um, Additional Milsim operator bundles released with Milsim operator weapons that go along with that Faction that's being released for the Milsim operator. So this is one good example of that I think we've seen that a few times in the past especially for Bale's protectorate bundle as well there with the Warsaw for the AK-47 turning it into essentially an AK-103 but again, let me know down below what you guys think. Now for season five, again we have some rumors coming up here for released weapons. As we go by, if we go by last season standards, I believe last season elite weapons. One of them was the G28, which I really hope they do add because if they do add that weapon, it'll allow us to, based on the ammo conversions, if they were to give us 556, we could make an HK416, which potentially could be a direct competitor to the M4 and some of the other meta weapons of the game, which would be really nice to see based on the barrel length and the ammo conversion. Another one, um, if they add that again, and coming in 762. By 51, I believe we'd be able to make the HK417. Now, the G28 being a 
the MR or Marksman rifle would be released. So we have to essentially get a full auto option as well as an ammo conversion, which might be a stretch, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully they realize the potential of having a conversion like that to an assault rifle like the HK416 or even a full auto option specifically based on the barrel. If you were to put a, a different length barrel on the weapon that would lock it into full auto, that way you'd have a 417 or again, like I said, a 416 to 556 by 45 NATO. So let me know what you guys think down below again for the season five, the other released weapons. If we go, like I said, the G28 for last season is what was rumored for this coming season, season five. But recently it seems like the AN94 and the Crytek 2000 or the intervention for Modern Warfare 2 was just recently touched upon too for rumors or leaks. But again, I don't expect those to come in season five. I'm thinking more so those were added for season six or perhaps those are the two primaries and then we'll get the third being a G28 or vice versa. So hopefully we do get the G28. I think that's the, the weapon I'm looking forward to the most in this game. I think that weapon has the most potential as well as something that I know I'll use probably more than anything in the, in the game going forward. So I'm really excited for that. Have to stay tuned and see what they end up announcing. I believe season four or five is going to be set to kick off very early August. I believe the fourth, the fifth, um, with the amount of days left in the battle pass. So again, let me know down below what you guys think of this blueprint. This is the Thunderclap M4 as part of the Vulcan Blue Lightning bundle. Let me know down below what you think of this. What you want to see coming up for the remainder of season four and going into season five. And I'll leave you guys with the gameplay here. Till next time, Buffer Gaming out. Personal radar drone ready for escort. 